It's GED question of the daytime, and today we've been asked, what is the area of the shape below? So let's remember what area means. Area is the number of square units, so like the number of squares, that to cover a shape. And a lot of us know that you can find area formulas on the GED formula sheet. Um, but what throws people is this shape. Um, I mean, you look at it, it looks kind of like a rectangle, kind of like a circle. Um, you know, what kind of shape is it? When I go to look at my formula sheet, I don't see any formula for a pregnant rectangle, right? That's just not on there. Um, so what am I going to do? So this is what's known as a composite shape. Um, it's a shape that's made out of other familiar shapes that we do know. And so one of the tricks is when you're trying to find the area of a composite shape, you should try breaking this particular shape into shapes you do know. So no, I don't know how to find the area of a pregnant rectangle, but I sure do know how to find the area of a rectangle. Down here, I have a rectangle. Hopefully a lot of you by now have it memorized how to find the area of a rectangle. You know that if it's two centimeters going down this way and seven centimeters going across, then we can just multiply those two dimensions, that length times that width, because that's two rows of seven squares. And so that's two times seven or 14 square centimeters for that particular portion. Two times seven or 14 square centimeters. Okay, um, so that piece is easy, but what's going to be trickier is this top piece. So first of all, let's just talk about what the heck kind of a shape this is. So yeah, it's obviously circular. However, this is not a full circle. And so what is this? Well, doesn't it look like a circle that's been cut in half to you? Sure does to me. And in fact, that's exactly what this is. This is a half circle. This is a half circle. Now, check out your GED formula sheet. You should have your GED formula sheet along with you as you work geometry problems. Okay, you're not gonna see area of a half circle. It's not on there. You know, you see square, rectangle, trapezoid, parallelogram. Um, those things are on there. And then finally, the last uh, formula you see under the area section is the area of a circle. So no, we might not have a half circle, but at least we have a circle formula. Now you're thinking, well, Kate, how am I going to turn a circle formula into a half circle formula? Um, and the answer is in the word. You're going to half the circle formula. You're going to half the circle formula. So the circle formula, if you look at your formula sheet, says area equals pi r squared. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that entire math. And then when we're done, we're going to half it. And you might be saying, Kate, how do I half something? Probably the easiest, simplest way to half something is just to divide it by two. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the area of the circle, and once I'm done, I'm going to divide by two. Now, I'm a mathematician, so I wrote out everything I was going to do all at once. I don't care if you write it this way or not, but realize that you're going to have to find the area of this, of what would be the full circle, and then half that amount. So let's see if we can plug into this little formula we just wrote ourselves. So um, can I rewrite it up here since I'm running out of space? A equals, now for pi, you can go ahead and use that approximation for pi, 3.14, that's on the formula sheet. Um, and um, the reason why I know how to do that, I was just thinking about that, that's why I paused, sorry guys. Why do I know that I can just plug in there's actually no indication in this problem that I can just plug in 3.14 for pi. Um, so my the likelihood is this, if you got this problem on the GED, it would be multiple choice. Um, so that a, an approximation would be um, just fine. The answers would probably be rounded. But 
Um, so I am using that 3.14, which is um, not exactly pi, but close enough to pi that we get a good approximate answer. And now R is the radius of your circle. Now be really careful because people think, hey, this is a half circle, so this thing must be the radius since this is a half circle. Imagine if your circle went all the way around. The radius starts at the center and goes to the outside. This piece and this piece only would be the radius. Now, unfortunately, we do not have this radius marked. And so we're not going to be able to finish filling into our formula until we find out what this amount is. You can't just randomly pick a number off of the off of your diagram to be the radius. You actually have to go find out what this piece would measure. So let's go check out what we know. Okay, let me grab up another color pen. I'm making a mess around here. So notice, can you see that the full length of this rectangle here, this side of the rectangle is seven centimeters? Now, uh, I don't have that full seven centimeters as part of my circle. This part, two centimeters is not within my circle, so I need to cut this out of my seven or I remove it. So seven minus that two would give me five centimeters left. Additionally, this piece, this one centimeter is outside of my circle, so I also need to remove this from the, that seven centimeter total. So I'm gonna take that five that I had and take away that one. So I have four centimeters left to work with. That means this entire piece right here is four centimeters. Well, if the entire piece is four centimeters, how long is that piece? If you guess that it's half of that amount, you're right, two centimeters. The radius is half of the diameter because it goes halfway across the circle. So the radius I'm gonna plug in here is two for this R. Now, don't lose symbols. So I can't lose this little square, so I'm gonna have this square. And when I'm done with the whole thing, I'm gonna divide by two, and I'm a mathematician, so I talk about it all from the beginning. So let's divide that all by two. Now, you can just plug this entire thing into your calculator. Your GED calculator can handle it. But I think I'll find the area first for those students who um, freak out about me halving it right away. So I'm going to do 3.14 times 2 squared. And do remember in the GED calculator, the squared button looks like this. It looks like an X with a little 2 on it. And when I type that, I get 12.56. So let me erase that. 12.56 would be the area of a full circle, uh, but I do not have a full circle. I have a half circle, so I'm going to divide that answer by 2. And the last time I did calculator work, I like messed it up on camera, so I'm trying to be really careful here. So I get 6.28. 6.28 what? Well, this is an area formula, so it finds square units, so this will be square centimeters. Okay. So now, what did I figure out here? Let's erase all this very marked up uh, area here so we can take a look at what we just figured out. Okay, so what we now know is we now know that this top half circle is 6.28 square centimeters. This bottom rectangle we found out was 14 square centimeters. So how are we gonna find the area of the total shape? Well, if you said add, you guessed it. We're just gonna add together those two measurements, the top piece and the bottom piece, and we'll find out that this sucker has a total of 20.28 square centimeters. Now, my problem currently doesn't have any rounding directions, um, and that was an oversight on my part, and I apologize, but the great news is if you had this on the GED, um, you would likely have a bunch of multiple choice answers. Um, so it might say 20.3, or it might say about 20 square centimeters. It might have this many digits, 20.28. But um, with an answer like this, you're going to be able to pick out which one of those uh, multiple choices is closest to your answer. So great, we're going to call that 20.28 square centimeters. If you have any questions about this problem, go ahead and ask them in the comments.